Some may call me mad, some may call me genius, but mostly they call me stupid for trying this. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm here to test the Dell Q NF800. So this is a 129 gram uh, 800 size reel by Dell Q that is very inexpensive. I think this one ran me about less than 15 euros and I have it paired with a Mifine Pro Ghost Blade and I've thrown I think Microfly 0.4 braid on it. Uh, Fishing conditions are terrible, I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of smoke in the air. We had crazy wildfires in Portugal this last few days. Water is full of ash. Uh, water management didn't make any discharges that I could see, at least the big ones that they usually make during the summer on the afternoon. So it's even lower than usual. The river, this is the main river. So very very low most of the places is like knee-high water so very very hard conditions I will try to catch something uh, try to give a test of this reel the thing that most concerns me on cheaper wheels it's line management so I'll be able to test it uh, I'm throwing 0.3 grams on that uh, presentation over there if you hear me coughing, if I somehow manage to catch something, I may cough because the air is very, very, very uh, heavy, very smoggy. Not so many ashes today falling, but not a pleasant experience to be outside. But either way, it's the time that I have, so I will use it. So. Let's start and try to catch something, if I can find fish because oh, the water is surprisingly cold. So I started by going up the creek, but on the creek the only thing I found Please look after your trash. Was trash. No fish to be found, so I went down the creek again and I went on the main river. Usually under the trees it's a nice spot, so I started to make casts up to there. So. With the ghost blade and the Delq, I had no problems uh, making the cast parallel to the water with the rod, and that's very, very good because you can cast under the tree branches, like now. You see, that cast went very, very near the the bank, which is a good thing because you can really dig under the the branches where mostly of the shrub are feeding on things that fall from the bank or from the trees, like bugs and other things very very cool and pleasant experience to cast with this combo whoop yep it's a big fella what is this it's a nice one it's actually a nice one very very hard to manage this guy surprisingly good pulling on so low oxygen conditions on the river today so nice bend to the rod i'm trying to push it Whoa. to the bank oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't do that because it's easier for me to unhook it don't have a net with me mm. so I really need to push it to the bank so pretty cool fight now it just quitted which is good because I can unhook it safely near this bank just easy to manage in here nice it was actually a surprise. It's hard to catch bigger fish in the summer because they are very alert, the uh, water is very clear, the, there's not a lot of flow. And especially in the morning, the hours that I go, the feeding window. Let's take a picture. 
it's gone. So it's easier to do it on the afternoon. Decent size job. And now go about your life, buddy. The LQ dealt with it with no problems. Nice. So still my theory is valid. Every day they sucks hard and you don't see no fish. I always catch a bigger than the average one. This for me it's really a surprise. <coughs> In the main river it's very hard to catch this fish like I did blindly. They are very skittish. Now the only thing that can make it better is to catch a sunfish. Ooh, this was a but either way I'm very happy with the Del Q. At as it managed that decent sized fish for the price. The drag worked. I had to... It's actually very tight now. Let's loosen it a little bit. It's okay now. It's fairly light on the cranking. Very good for this type of fishing. It's, it's very light also on weight. It's a sunfish. Very annoyingly. I really like them, but they are annoying as hell. So it was eh, but never hitting the hook. Always pulling on, on the plastic. And I know they are hiding on the, the plants over there. Anna, you see the tip of the rod? Again. I think they do like a Morse code of screw you. And the worst part is, is that it's just on my river if i go somewhere else that is sunfish i can catch them no problem with the same presentation in here they just pick the tail end of the plastic and say screw you but fishing has completely stopped and now i was just going to mess with some stuff i have some new small baits that i want to test and i'll just give you like a quick look on my new three centimeter one gram crankbait from Google Holix. <laughs> look at this little guy oh look actually it has a nice action This is one gram, so a bit off. Oh, followers, nice. Hopefully, we will get rain and get rid of this miserable low water conditions because. This is crap. That's what I have to say. It was really crap, so I'll leave you with the conclusion of my first impressions on the Dell Q NF800. So this is the end of the session with the Dell Q NF800. Totally crap day. I would not say totally because I caught a fish. It was a decent sized one for summer, but a fish. Again, very, very lethargic. The water is very, very slow. Harsh conditions to catch fish right now, even though the water is getting colder. Hopefully, with the rain next week, we'll get rid of the wildfires that we have right now in Portugal and the fishing gets better. So, the reel, it's actually quite a pleasant surprise because 129 grams not a lot of sloppiness uh, less than 15 euros for this 800 size cannot really complain again the rod i know what i was getting for because this is actually a pretty cool rod but until my next video i will see you guys next time bye